And here we go. Spawning down in the bottom right for the Shopify Rebellion. It is Beyond in the red. And his opponent spawning up at the top left for Onside Gaming. It is Maru in the blue. Now, a best of five TBT. Pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Bion has been playing very strong StarCraft. But of course, Maru is one of the best defensive players, maybe of all time. He's so freaking good. Uh, we're going to see a one racks expand out of Maru, by the way. Double gas from Beyond. So they're chatting up a storm. I don't know what they're saying, but it's pretty neat. A little TT. TT, TT. Uh, so if you can get away with Run Racks Expand, which Babylon is one of the best maps for that, that's really nice. It is so nice to be able to get away with that one Racks Expand. Uh, it's going to put you like four to five SCVs ahead going into the mid game if there's no punish. Now, will Bion be able to get a punish? That is a that is a good question there. That is an interesting question. That's one that I'm well that I'm interested in overall. Will be a bunker from Maru. If you don't build that bunker, you're really vulnerable in the early game. And of course, if you get Proxy 2 Racks Reapered, it's pretty much an auto loss. Bian just going for two Reapers and a Hellion, and then we'll start up his own reactor. And he gets the safety Widow Mine as well. So Bian, he doesn't scout here. By the way, nice little trick from Bian. Stops his mule before it would mine a mineral patch or a mineral trip. That it can't return and therefore delete 25 minerals off the map. Which is something you can't really do in the late game because there's way too many things to do. Even in the mid game, it's a big ask. But doing it in the early game, very much doable. Still, nice to see. Would have mind hiding in the grass. <laughs> very cute. Reaper for Maru. Just looking around. We do see the uh, Raven coming on out for Maru here. Bion going for a medevac drop here. What is this? This is four Marines, two Reapers, and a Hellion. And Maru spots it, I believe. This is actually so good for Maru. He's going to get damage here with this Reaper. One Reaper should never be able to get into the main base and find damage. But he, he'll find a little bit. Well, actually, no. He... Just ends up forcing some repair. Still, better than nothing. Bion, he knew he was spotted, so he just goes home. Chatting continues. Third command center on the way for Maru. He's going economically focused here. and I mean, it makes a ton of sense. Hellion on the bottom side is going to get intercepted here. Oh, is it? No, it's not. Oh, wait. SCV ready. Oh, it actually blocks the command center. Bian? Yeah, I was going to say he needs to uh, restart that, and then he does. God, this is a an effective Hellion in terms of scouting. 
Doesn't get all the way into the main base, but that's pretty darn nice. See as much as he does. Maru? Well, I mean, it's, it's pretty even right now. There's a small worker lead for Maru. But not huge. The big thing is, of course, the third command center timing. And the faster NG base could be a big difference maker, too. We'll keep tabs on things. Beyond highly aggressive Terran, more so than your average bear. Oh. Boom. Oh my god. <laughs> just, just yeets the whole arm. Arm or leg, I don't know. That was violent. That was a bad time to be a Marine, that's for damn sure. Byun needs to start up his 1-1 as soon as possible. Does have his engineering base done. Oh. Ravens. Oh, hello? Byun with the ambush here. Oh, we're going to see auto turrets coming on down, trying to get some of his opponent's ravens or SCVs. He gets six SCVs, but he doesn't get the ravens. Vikings coming across the map. Are they going to try and sneak in and snipe the ravens? Uh, Bion has yet to take a fourth gas, by the way, which is kind of surprising. Oh, scan comes down. Where are the Vikings? Okay, looks like they were just hunting for in case the ravens went out onto the map and tried to find some additional damage. I like the idea for Maru. I very much like the idea. He should... Wait, hang on. Oh, Bion canceled the Viking. Oh, okay, so he elects not to go for the kill on that Raven. Overall, Maru is quite far ahead in workers. And it's still two, two Ravens to two Ravens. Now, oh... Oh, don't let him go. Don't let him go. No, he's not supposed to live. It's 4 HP. Don't let him even drop the turret. Oh, that's... That's actually going to kill so many workers. Four workers. Yo, don't let him go. Please don't let this... Oh, my God. There's a Marine. Stim. Stim for your life. Go here. Go here. Cut it off. Please. Oh, no, it's in the sensor tower range, so he knows to deny to dodge it. Oh, this raven's got a dream. This better be good. Oh, my God, this raven's actually going to survive. Oh, but Maru. No, oh, he's, oh, he's too quick. Nice hot pickup. Saves that tank. Very nicely done. Bion does not want to fight without his combat shields in 1-1. Maru doesn't have combat shields. Okay, okay, he remembers. Oh. Whoa, oh, that was going to give me some stress if he didn't get that. Good scan for Maru spots Bion's army. Of course, at this point, they're going to be constantly scanning. Bion, only a little bit behind in his 2-2 uh, two -two timing, but there will be a timing where he has 1-1 one -one and combat shields versus no combat shields. Bion does lose one meta back, but he's able to get a Viking. Actually, did he get a Viking? No, he didn't. He just wounded the Viking a little. Oh, that's a big stim from Bion. This is not the fight for him. And that siege tank on the high ground is very well placed. Oh, interference matrix. Ah, uh, he does he doesn't actually deny the siege, the unsiege, but the tanks do still get the kill from Bion. That Raven still being alive could be massively impactful. Bion. Oh, he's gonna drop a couple of interference matrices. The Marines of Maru were very out of position here. But there's still a couple of tanks in the backfield. Maru will be forced back, but he is ahead in supply, both workers and uh, army supply. Although positioning in TBT can be king. There's no tanks to actually drop in the main base here. Ooh, if he could deny combat shields, but he doesn't realize, doesn't realize it was a vulnerability. Maru? Ooh, he was about to drop on top of these tanks. He's still going to go for it. Yun, though, turns around. The unseaged tanks, with there being six of them there? Five of them? Six? Six? Yeah, six. Uh, he's able to actually outfight these Marines temporarily. And the tank count is so important in this matchup. Maru getting funneled by his own tanks, but he will be able to drop a couple of inter interference vacancies. We're seeing SMEs being pulled. So many Marines conga lining their way forward. And Bion, oh, he's going to get pushed back. Does save this last tank with 7 HP. 
This drop from Beyond somehow still alive. Will get eventually cleaned up, but he got actually 20 SCVs during all this. Byun is able to find a couple of Vikings as well. That's very nice. That could let him actually start building Vikings of his own to claim air superiority. There's only one Viking on the map right now for Maru. 2-2 uh, two -two timings. Maru's was a little bit faster, but it's not enough faster to really make a difference. Ooh, this is going to be a finished planetary just as this drop gets in. 2-2 two -two will finish up for Byun. He does have a well-placed tank. Ooh, he's going to try and stiffen on top of his opponent's siege tanks. Doesn't target them, though, and just ends up losing a lot of units. Maru now has the position. He's going to break through on these tanks of Byun, and Byun will get ground down. Now, on the other side of the map, the double medevac drop does get very significant damage. Ooh, target fire on the Marines themselves from Byun. It's that the SCVs weren't able to help out that much. And it's production. Hang on, can he camp this? If he camps the production, everything on this side of the map might be a moot point. Beyond, ooh, good scan right there. He's going to try and split forward and take down these tanks of Maru. He will get one of them with his own siege tank, and he's actually got enough Marines to clean this up. Beyond the micro, the split, the counterattack. Can he do it here in game one? He was in so much trouble, but now he has funneled Maru's units, and he is going to take game one. What a turnaround from Beyond. Absolutely stellar stuff in game number one of this series. All right, here we go. Spawning up the top right for the Shopify Rebellion. It is Beyond in the red. And his opponent spawning down in the bottom left for onside gaming. It is Maru in the blue. Absolutely stellar stuff out of Beyond. He was... He was really in some trouble in that game. And he like, he fought his way back in a big way. I mean, it is fair to say that at least in that game, Byun outplayed Maru. There's, there's nothing else for it. It's gonna be another one racks expand out of Maru. Wow. Uh, this is some greedy stuff out of Maru here. Maru did play very well in the previous game. He got himself into a good position. But, I mean, TVT, it's a dangerous matchup. Two medevacs worth of Marines. And, I mean, the, the Sim City of Maru really didn't do him any favors. Without being able to clean up the double drop efficiently, I mean, it's it's already tough. But when it's as inefficient as that, like, Maru's buildings were really on the side of Beyond there. Uh, it makes things even more difficult. Now, the fact that Maru in back-to-back -back games now has gone reactor, or sorry, one rack to expand. I mean, I don't know if he's using his reputation or if he's actually just afraid of Beyond in a macro game or what it is or if he's setting up for maybe a future series that they play in a big qualifier or something where he's like okay well I'm gonna make you proxy two racks me which is the kind of thing that would happen at this level uh, regardless Maru's done it Maru's gone for the the one rack to span two games in a row. Now, is this going to be... No, it is not going to be the Reactor Heli in play uh, from Maru. That is that is a, a play that I'm a big fan of. Ryung is the player that I think of the most when I think of that style of play. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, so it saves you up a lot of gas and lets you get very quickly into the Ravens despite the fact that you never opened up with a quick second gas. Uh, at, this, at the end of the day, though, if you do what Maru is doing here, which is where you're building Marines, 
I mean, you're still saving that gas anyways. It's just that with the Hellions, you also have the potential of at some point maybe slipping in and getting some big damage done, as well as you got a lot more map control. Maru, once again, going to go for this single Reaper Scout across the map. See what we can find. Here we've got that lovely logo of the Korean StarCraft League, the KSL. Exclamation KSL if you want to check it out and support the Patreon. Oh, <laughs> that grenade. <laughs> I, I don't know what they just said, but I've got the feeling that it was something, something cheeky. Got the feeling it was something very cheeky. Third command center is coming on up from Maru here, Bian. He's staying on two CCs, at least for the moment. Gonna try and shark around with some of his early units here. Uh, we do have a one Raven opener. Uh, is two? Just gonna stop it two? Yeah, okay, two Raven openers for both sides. Uh, so, Bion is probably going to be doing a, a bit of a Viking tank Raven push here with this. Oh, no, oh, he misplaced. Okay, he recognized. No, no, oh, no, 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 you've got the reactor and now you've blocked it. No, Bion, cancel, please. God. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, this is actually a disaster. He, he should be built. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Ugh. That was so much wasted time. Uh, I wonder if he has now decided he can't build Vikings or if he was he changed his mind from building Vikings and wanted to build the reactor the whole time. Regardless, that's not, that's not how you want that to go. Bion going to try and sneak up on the natural of Maru. He is going to deny this gas. That's pretty good. He'll get three tanks in range of this. And that will be a dead gas. You can't, you can't repair that up at this point. Maru, how many tanks does he have? Uh, he's only on two. Oh, Bion going to drop auto turrets in the main? Ooh, Maru unseizes his tank in this main base. We are going to see ah, five SCVs going down. Interference Matrix to disable the Cyclone. Maru. Bion setting up in the most interesting location here with these tanks. Maru does have the faster 1-1 one, one and the slightly faster stim. He's got, I think, faster production as well. Ooh, we're going to see an attempt to break this potentially pretty soon. Bion should probably get out of here. Oh, the interference matrix sees this army's trapped. Stim's not done for Bion. This is going to be an utter massacre right here. He even loses one of the Ravens. Do these tanks even get a shot? No, they do not. And that is a straight up disaster for Bion. In fact, I. I mean, that, that might just be game over. Can, Mar can, can a counterattack even be held at this point? Is my question. There's three tanks, 10 Marines. I mean, if the tanks are in the right place, if they get the right shots, maybe. But they are not in the right place. They will not defend the third base effectively. Yeah, Bion... Okay, well, what Bion's doing to try and protect everything, it's not the right call, I don't think. I think you have to recognize how far behind you are and just hope your opponent runs into you. But... It's Maru. He's really not going to do that, so I don't blame Bion for this. Oh, Bion killed the, or lost the unit that was being interference matrix. So, or pardon me, uh, anti-armor missile. So it actually hit Maru's units. Maru ran into the spot where it was originally. Maru going to try and drop on the low ground. Okay, he will kill the tank, and he's going to kill these Marines. Yeah, it's 1-1 uh, it's one, one versus 1-1, one, one, but there is combat shields for Maru. Maru didn't need to lift up there. Still, this is very successful for Maru. 12 SCDs going down. He should be able to get this command center most likely, but no, it looks like he's going to give up on it. He tries to move into his opponent's tanks. Oh, nice interference matrix on the back tank there by Maru. 
Beyond gonna try and pull the boys into this, but they're getting caught right here. Gonna try and crack it before this next tank shows up. Can Beyond clean this up? He will be able to, but it's gonna be a very expensive cleanup. 33 SCVs have fallen. He did keep his third command center alive. But Maru, I mean, now he's up so many workers, and now it's Bion who must move across the map and find counter damage. 25 worker lead here. We're going to see a single medevac drop coming across the map. Maru, ooh, he's just going to load up 16 marines, boost up into the main base. That's a lot of medevacs here. Bion might think there's tanks here, but there is not. Which is good news for Beyond, because if there was, I mean, there'd be really very little way to dislodge this. Oh, big overstim here from Beyond, but he will be able to still push this away. And the counter drop is actually finding a little bit of damage. Now, it's only single medevac, not double, so he's not going to be able to tank or uh, uh, camp the production. Still? Well, not still. I mean, he needs to do something drastic like camp the production. Yeah, it, it, the 2-2 timing for Maru is so much faster. Now, Maru does forget his plus 2 attack for a while. Oh, and this drop does get found and killed. Only the medevac surviving. Air quotes on surviving. We'll see if it actually makes it out. Ah, it looks like it hilariously will. Just kind of flies very close. Uh, Maru is going to get some Vikings here. Ooh, attack coming in on the third base. We'll be able to burn down that tank. Maru just keeping the pressure on. At this point, does he want to go for additional starports? I feel like he's enough ahead that he can probably just steamroll his opponent. But over-attacking in TVT into siege tanks is a way to throw a game. Absolutely. Pyun doesn't even have time to build a reactor right now on one of these barracks. Maru does have his plus two armor finished. Plus two attack is finishing up in, well, now. Drop in the main base. Uh, tries to get down here. Not gonna be able to find much of anything. Bion's 2-2 is on the way. He's gonna lose the medevac, but he's buying himself time at least with this. Now, can he do anything meaningful with that time? I'm not sure. He's trying. He's, he's not giving up here. Ooh, speak. this is a meaningful move. If he can slip into this main base, there is a very well-placed turret. Oh, I love this. This actually... So the, the sensor tower kind of corrals the units into the missile turret. That is actually such a smart move from uh, Maru. Byun is going to try and slip in on top of this fourth command center, but it's, it's done as a planetary. Ooh, boost comes in. Byun knew about the missile turret. This one siege tank does get spotted by Bion, but he does find a good position. Now Maru on the other side of the map has so much. Can Bion even slow him down? No. And I thought that was going to be a GG. Okay, there it is. It is GG. And Maru will even the series at one apiece. Well done. And here we go. Game three. Spawning down on the bottom right for the Shopify Rebellion. It is Bion. In the red. And his opponent. Spawning up at the top left for onside gaming. It is Maru. In the blue. And he is going for a proxy to Rax Reaper. Byun has opened up double gas both games. Maru opened up one Rax expand both games. He is yet to open up standard. Maru. It's greed cheese or cheese cheese and i do like the way he's approaching this bian he's well known for not scouting well known for avoiding scouting now in this case the double gas is going to serve him very well extremely well Now, you can still macro out of this. You only need to get a little bit of damage done in order to be able to, well, macro out of it. It's, it's possible. It's an option.
Maru. He is one of the best players of all time when it comes to macroing out of a quote unquote failed two racks. Now we know about him doing it in TVZ, but he does it in TVT as well. Now failed is whenever someone says Maru fails at two racks, I always look at that with like a bit of chagrin. Oh, this is so good for Beyond. He spots his opponent's Reaper. They both took, yeah, they both took equal damage, but seeing what this is, this is so good. And there's the TT from Maru. You must get a bit of damage done with this. Oh, Beyond. Oh no, why is, why are there two SCVs at the natural? Oh, that's a mistake. That's a big mistake. Oh, Beyond gotta be careful. Ooh, nice zoning grenade from Maru right there to keep Beyond from chasing him. Uh, Beyond losing those two SCVs, that actually not quite evens things out because Beyond will have enough money to expand quite a bit quicker. Oh. Four Reapers coming on in. This is a scary timing for Beyond. I really don't know how I feel about taking this low ground expansion. Uh, oh, wow. Beyond's just going to run right into him. He is down Reapers here. Oh, this is so dangerous for Beyond. He is really shoving into his opponent here. And it is going to cost him a lot. Uh, I, I, I don't know why Beyond has done this. I have no idea why Beyond has done this. He could have just taken the command center on the high ground and been fine, but... He plays uber greedy, and he ends up losing quite a lot. Loses a Hellion, three SCVs more than his opponent, and has to cancel his command center. Now Maru's ahead here. The only thing Bion has going for him is the slightly faster starport timing, but I don't think he's going to be able to do, do anything meaningful with this. Oh, Bion really, uh, really played a little bit too greedily here. And Maru was able to able to punish. Yeah, if this is a high ground command center, if those SCVs are not on the low ground, and, and I'm fine with one SCV being on the low ground to scout to see like, hey, do the Reapers come over? But having two of them there, oh, hang on. We're going to see Beyond getting jumped again. He's got four Marines, but they are not here. Another SCV is going to fall. Maru with a great concave with these Reapers and Hellions. And actually, he's just going to take the game right here. The Hellions all go down. Great micro on the Reapers. And GT is going to get called Maru with the kill maneuver in game number three. Game number four. Spawning down on the bottom right. Looking to force game five. It is Shopify Rebellion's Beyond. In the blue. And his opponent. Spawning up at the top left for onside gaming. It is Maru. In the red. Oh my god, Bian's going command center first. <laughs> oh, the Chad Gamer move. Wow. That is incredible. Maru is opening up two gas and Bion says, oh, you want to open up one racks expand into me in games one and two? Wow. CC first in TVT. Only the great Mark U Thermal Schlappy has made this happen before. And oh, Maru's scouting. He's going to see this. And he is going to punish it. You have to go a long time without scouting this in order to not get punished. Maru's going to be like, excuse you? Beyond's like, uh-oh, you scouted. <laughs> uh, Maru is opening up standard for the first time this series. And I'm pretty sure that when you see the one racks or the command center first this early, I, I think you can punish it very hard just by playing pretty standard and putting on a little bit of aggression. Beyond going Marine here. Uh, that, that won't do. I, I suppose he can build the Orbital Command 
and still get the mule from it and not send SCVs to the natural? I mean, there's no Hellion. If Maru lets Beyond get away with this, like that's that's very bad. That is very bad for Maru. Okay, he's gonna pull an SCV or keep an SCV with this. Send two Reapers forward. Let's see if Beyond can handle this. He does have three Marines out, and he's building a Hellion. Oh, Grenade does connect on two of those Marines. SCV will pop out. Wow. Oh, Maru messed up the shot. That's supposed to be a dead SCV. Three volleys will kill it. He only got half of one of the shots. So one of the uh, the SCV does survive. It's not supposed to. Ooh, nice double grenade right there from Maru. It's a fair bit of persistent damage on these Marines. They do not regenerate like the Reaper Brethren. Bion? Even though... Well, I mean... Not even though, he's he's actually super far ahead in workers. He's up six workers right now. And I think Beyond has gotten away with this. But I do have to say, he's had to keep building Marines, which is still not great for him. Uh, not being able to build the reactor is quite a problem. Maru is going to let another SCV go. Uh, we do have a Cyclone and a Medivac about to hit the field, which means that Beyond will be able to now start mining from his natural. And Maru just started mining from his natural, so Byun gets away with this. Oh my god, he's actually loaded up into a medevac. Maru missed it. Maru's going for a tank drop. This, if he moves out with the medevac, this could be a disaster for Maru. Reapers are going to pop out. Well, pop in, I should say. Ooh, he's going to go for the Cyclones. They're going to try and lock in. The SCVs do block this. Bion is counterattacking on the other side of the map. Lock on on the Marine, not great. Well, this is going to do very well for uh, for Maru here. Siege tank. Oh, Bion is going to get on top of it. Maru on the bad rally will lose the siege tank. He would have been able to hold with that otherwise. And now Marine's going to try and come back home. Bion is still even on workers, and he's got a lot of damage that he can get done here. Oh, drops on top of his opponent's Marines. He shouldn't get distracted. He should be going for the main mineral line. Oh, Cyclone's going to drop on top of the medevac of Bion. Bion comes out of this five workers ahead, and he took all the pressure off himself. And now the Liberator that he built for defense is going to be able to get something done on the other side of the map. This is an absolute clown fiesta of a game, and I am loving it so far. All over the place here. Marine and Hellion going to come back in here. Oh, there's the double lock on. Well, no, single lock on. Doesn't matter. Still a dead medevac. Liberator in the main base will be able to grab two SCVs. Can he get out? Yes, he can. All right. Not so bad. Now, Maru is going to be on two Ravens. That's a problem for Bion. But it's a six worker lead. Stim is faster. Byun added on a second barracks. He's going for a 2 1 1. Meanwhile, this Liberator has slid around to the natural. He's just going to keep it here. Uh, oh, double medevac drop. What is that? Nine, 11 Marines? 11 Marines in a siege tank. Reaper in the main base. Will scout the third command center timing. Doesn't see the second barracks. Oh, it does. Oh, it sees the second barracks. That's actually pretty huge. Will Maru read that there's an attack coming? He does have these two Cyclones in position, but they're not perfectly placed. He did have to drop a Depot Top Hat, by the way. Ooh, Cyclones lock on. One of them locks onto a Medivac. Other one locks onto a Marine. Yun. He will be able to get out with most of his units here. He actually didn't have Stim done yet. Oh, oh, he didn't go in with the Liberator during this. If he had, that would have been so nice for Beyond. Medivac's going to drop into the main. Well, I mean, there's two tanks here. You really can't. But he can siege these gases. Interference Matrix did get dropped. If he takes down both gases and gets out without losing anything, 
He should just get out. Just get out right now. Get out right now. Oh, the double interference matrix on the Medivax. And Beyond unseeds the tanks thinking it was on the tank. Maru. Oh, he gets uh, he gets the full clean up there. Nice job. Beyond though? I mean, his stim is much faster. Therefore, his combat shields is much faster. His 1-1 one -one is a little bit faster. Beyond's in a good position in this game. The only thing Maru has going for him is those Ravens. Now, three Ravens is a lot of Ravens. That is so much power. Bion kind of doesn't want to take his foot off the gas pedal at this point to let those Ravens get energy. Hmm. We do have a uh, an armory coming on in. Scan at the third base. Ooh, missile turret from Maru. I mean, Bianca is playing very aggressively here. Cyclones on the top side, well positioned. Looking for uh, a potential drop. Bianca says, hey, you got anything on the right side? Y'all got any of those sneaky drops? The answer is no. This might be a perfectly timed armory. Oh, watching the right side. Oh, oh my God. It's within like 0.2 seconds, 0.4 seconds. Oh, immaculate from beyond. I would love it if he would have started the upgrades right away, but that's still impressive. And he finds two cyclones. Nice job. Where? Oh, medevacs on the left side are starting to move in. Oh, he's got to be careful. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Maru on the hunt. Almost finds it. 2-2 Two -two does start up for Bianca. Pretty well timed there. And Missile Turret. Oh, almost getting the kill on one of those medevacs, but not quite. Siege Tank for Maru will get sniped down. Bion is able to lift up Maru. Anticipating a move from Bianca with the other medevac set up. Oh, can he get the second tank? Oh, oh my god, 1 HP barely survives. Oh. Now Maru with the repair. Somehow that tank got no kills, by the way. Uh, Bion does have a much faster 4th CC landed, but he is down 7 workers, and I mean, Maru's going to be able to saturate that base more effectively a little bit quicker. Ooh, he does spot this army. That's a kill on Depot, because of course, Bion wasn't expecting him there. Maru's actually got a fair amount of stuff here. How many Marines? This is 20 Marines. Bion is pushing this back with a smaller number of units. Uh, oh, Maru has forgotten his plus two armor here. And no vehicle weapons yet either. Bion did uh, delay his vehicle weapons, did forget that. But he starts it up now. Forgetting the armor upgrade is such a huge misstep. It can have massive ramifications in a game. And Bion is going for three additional barracks. No... Uh, no second factory here. No, wait, what am I saying? He does have a second factory. Where is it? Oh, it's literally right here. But regardless, two factories, eight barracks. That's going to be 16 potential Marines at a time. All of them have reactors. This is... This is something that became more viable with the the Raven re rework. Oh. Engagement breaking on out here. Maru will get intercepted with these couple of scouting marines. Neither player going, uh, well, beyond not going heavy on the Vikings. Eight Vikings for Maru, so he is going to try and slow this game down. And he's going for the much more traditional... Uh, Double starport transition. Bion, this is a large army to the top side. He is spotted on the bottom side. Maru going to try and snipe down some tanks. Gets two of them. Oh, Bion targeting the center of those Marines. Gets some big tank volleys on the return. Bion scans, sees his opponent's tanks. Oh, got to step back. Getting a little bit too dicey here. Spicy even. Meanwhile, he pushes through the middle towards the third. Finds the two siege tanks. Will lose a lot of marines for it, but he gets his own tanks in position. This one on the low ground is going to be very scary to deal with. Maru's having a little bit of a tough time here dealing with this army. Bion with the two tanks in the back will push very far forward. And he's taking a nice supply lead. 16 marines at a time. He does have 2-2 two -two versus 2-1. Two 
Maru. Oh. I mean, he's still holding for the moment. Ooh, Byun is going to lose a couple of tanks here. Maru will lose one of his own. Can Byun get the kill on this tank? Yes, he will. And now he sieges officially on this planetary fortress. He's denied mining at this third. He's threatening the fourth base heavily. Maru will build some liberators here to try and clean this up. Does Yun have enough to clean this? No, he's going to lose all three siege tanks. Did get one of the liberators and one of the tanks. Vikings will land here to clear up this small number of marines. Byun definitely has a tempo advantage, though. And he's got now a fifth base. He still holds this posi position outside of Maru's third. But Maru actually has the fifth base on Grezvan secured. He pushes back one of his opponent's tanks. Cleans up another one. And will clean up this uh, army of Byun. Maru. Ooh, can he hold this central base? He does have a planetary. But that is so many marines. With 2-2, two, two, soon to be 3-3. Three, three, and that's going to be two dead command centers here. Maru, really under the gun. Beyond going to try and step forward. That's ah, a lot of tanks for Maru, though. You really don't want to move into that. 3-3, three, three, nearly done for Beyond, But he takes a lot of tank fire. Kind of hesitating heavily there. And now the liberators of Maru can start to move forward. Oh, Beyond will snipe them. When he manages to get away without suffering a uh, an obliterating tank shot that I thought he might have. Maru, ooh, he's going to lose some SCVs here on this third base. Beyond really starting to open him up here. 15 SCVs going down. And Maru, uh, he doesn't have anything to block this move into the main base. He will counter drop on top of it, which is cute. But actually, can Beyond... Beyond's got 3-3 three, three versus 2-2. Two, two. Nah, it's not quite enough. Still going to trade pretty well. Oh. Still no Liberators here for Maru. He hasn't rebuilt them yet. And Byun is really starting to uh, take its toll on this fourth base. Meanwhile, third base once again under threat here. Byun, oh, he will move away as his opponent sieges up. And he once again gets into the main base. Byun, if he can get a couple more tanks working on this base, which is what he's setting up right this second, he might be able to just take it down here and now. Oh, Siege Tanks of Maru will move forward. Bien is going to go for the snipe on the, well, on the Liberators. He's going to get them and the tanks. And that fourth base is dead, though. Oh, even gets one of his opponent's tanks to the main base. 3-3 three, three Marines are so powerful. And Bien manages to overpower Maru before he can get his defensive setup. We're going to game five, baby. All right, here we go. Spawning up at the top right for the Shopify Rebellion. It is Beyond in the red. And looky, looky what we have here. Spawning down in the bottom left for Onside Gaming. He's going for it. It's Maru. And he is going to do the double proxy racks Reaper once again. Byun opened up double gas in game number three and still took pretty significant damage from this. He didn't need to, though. He kind of messed up the defense a little bit, got a little bit greedy, got himself into trouble. All right. Now, this is a much closer... Well, actually, it's not that much closer. The other one was pretty close here. It was the equivalent of, like, here. But this is close enough that an SCV right here would spot this. And if he builds his second depot there, that would happen. However, it is a one Rax expand from beyond. And it feels like this is what Maru was baiting this whole series. With his own one Rax expand play, Byun... Took the greedy route in game one. If Bion holds this, I mean, he's one of the greatest. But like, that would be like one of the greatest holds of all time. Oh, will he see it? No, he's not going to. He doesn't go far enough over. Oh, he's going to check it with the Reaper. 
You saw that he just highlighted this location. Look, he's literally rallied onto the barracks right now. And he's going to see it, and he's going to be like, oh my god. He's got to cancel this command center, I think. But you, you might want to let it live for a little while. Just to, just to buy time here. God, this is such a bad situation for Beyond. Oh, he's going to move forward with the Marine and the Reaper. Hang on, Maru making a critical blunder. Does he lose the Reaper? No, he doesn't. He will lose this SCV. Oh, grenade somehow hit the Reaper or the uh, Marine of Beyond. Maru, though, losing a lot of critical time when he has a big advantage. Maru going to move up into the natural. He's got his own factory on the way. Beyond's factory is not yet done. Maru, oh, he gets a nice grenade right there. Beyond really wants this one Reaper. He's moving so far forward. He loses his own Reaper. That is, ah, uh, that's not worth it here for Beyond. But he steps into Maru's Reapers. He gets the two of them. Beyond takes him down the double question mark because that wasn't supposed to happen. Beyond with the clutchest of clutch, clutch holds right there. Maru. Now he's kind of trapped with this Reaper too. Oh, he wants these Marines. You know he does. But he's not going to get them. He's going to lose the Reaper too. He gets this one SCV, but this should have been a dead Bion. This should have been impossible to hold, but Bion has made the hold. Look at this one kill, one HP on this Marine. Another question mark because he knows this shouldn't have been holdable. It shouldn't have been possible, but Bion has done it here. And Maru, now he has to, he has to go back home. Oh my God, I can't believe that Bion was able to hold this. Unreal. Absolutely incredible out of Bion. What a defense. And now Maru. Oh man, he's going to have to play the macro game after knowing that he let a free win go. By all accounts, every pro would agree that this situation is meant to be a free win. Everyone would agree. Oh, this is cute. Oh, Maru landing these barracks, hoping that Bion pushes into him, that he can take the fight here. This is very cute from Maru. You saw that he had the wireframe set to bring these units home. Ooh, medevac moving forward here from Maru. He's got a siege tank in there. Bion does snipe down the Hellion. And he sees the medevac, but he doesn't see the siege tank yet. Oh, maybe a little bit of a miss rally right there from Bion. Maru breaking the lock on after just one tick of damage. Very nice. Siege tank is well positioned here for Bion. Oh, can he get the lock on on this siege tank? There is the medevac here to break it. Maru breaks the lock on on the Reaper. Ooh, Siege Tank will get uh, locked onto by the second Cyclone of Bion. Oh, nice hot pickup from Bion. Dodging the tank shot that was about to obliterate a bunch of his low HP Marines. And Bion holds. Takes down his opponent's tank. Oh, that's such a solid play right there. Eight Marine drop going to come into the main base. Maru. Okay, he does rally this tank back home, but he's got nothing else. Because he put these barracks at home, in the middle of the map and didn't get anything with them, he's got no units on the, the, uh, on the field except these Marines and Reapers in his opponent's main base. Lock on on the site or on the medevac will come on in and he will get the kill. Maru, he is going to lose this drop in the main base. He does find a lot of SCVs. Is he killing SCVs in the natural too? There is a Liberator. Five kills there. And now, Bion, well, he needs to find some big counterattack damage. Oops, Siege Tank of Maru is going to move forward. Won't be able to defend the gas, but will bully Bion away. And there was only the two tanks. Only the two tanks, just a fresh Raven popping out as well. If Bion could have recognized the situation... He might have been able to drop on that and maybe could have snowballed something. He probably could have gotten a lot of work done. Instead, Maru able to hold with just two tanks and a Raven.
and he gets critical damage on the other side of the map. Eight SCVs ahead now. Did the Liberator get picked off? Yes. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It came back home. Five kills. Ooh. Very nice. Bian. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. He drops two Marines back home. This is a huge tank drop he's committing to. Four tanks and only eight Marines. Is he going to drop right into the natural? The problem is the Liberator and the Ravens are going to be so good defensively against this. Scan comes in. Scouts the third command center. Doesn't see any tanks. And that might... Like, there's no tanks at all in the main base. He does see Viking production. Siege tanks of Bion. Ooh. What can they get done? And how how efficiently can Maru clean this up is the big question. Aiki's going to have a tough time cleaning it up super efficiently. The Liberator is going to be very good here. And the Interference Matrix was used on a Raven. He will have one uh, Matrix available, well, right now if he wants to use it. But instead, he's just going to let the Vikings clean this up. Oh, Interference Matrices will come on in. Maru going to go for the break. There's no... Oh, no, there is Stim for Maru. Two Siege Tanks on while still alive or active or beyond. Are going to be able to take a toll on these Marines. Can he target the SCVs? No. No tank shot remaining. Seven SCVs go down. A lot of stuff for Maru going down as well. Even though Maru cleans that up, he loses his Ravens. Bion now has the Raven lead. He's got the Viking lead. He's only one tank behind. Maru does have much faster 1-1 one -one upgrades though. Bion did take a, a worker lead. Oh, Maru. Uh-oh, he's moving out. Oh, he's moving out. Oh, this could be so bad for Maru. Viking's going to land here. Bion's going to move forward. Now, is there enough bio here for Maru to clean this up? Nice hot pickup on that siege tank from Maru. And he saves it. He built a couple Marauders here. I, I mean, they're actually not a bad choice. Do, he doesn't think he's going up against Mech, does he? Ooh, it's on. Ready to go. Is he just building Marauders because... Well, I, I, I don't know. Why is he building Marauders? He doesn't have an armory, by the way. Which means that Bion's 1-1 uh, one, one upgrade deficit that he's had, although it actually didn't take effect during a lot of that fight, it only took effect towards the end, it's going to disappear. And also, Maru... He's, no, he's building SCVs. He canceled concussive shells. Did he cancel the extra Marauders? No, he still built five. I mean, this is going to give him more power against his opponent's tanks. Combat chill's not yet done for Bion. He needs to buy a lot of time right now. Oh, these NG bays. They are going to be under threat here. Bion, moving back. He does have this Raven. Doesn't quite have an interference matrix available yet. Scan comes down. Can he hit the SCVs? Yes, he can. That's bad news for Bion. Bion needs Liberators. Oh, he should be building Liberators 100%. 100%. Oh, the armor just barely finishes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. barely finishing that armor upgrade right there. Maru, though, in such a good position. These NG bays in a horrible position. Such a bad position for those engineering bays. Costs him quite a few SCVs, but he does finish the upgrades crucially. Ooh, Maru, sieging up in a good position. Interference Matrix does come down on the lead tank for Maru. Yun will be able to grind down a lot of this bio. Maru really trying to force the issue here. Bion, please build some Liberators. It would be so beneficial to Bion to build Liberators. Bion, by the way, on a ton of gas in the bank right now. Uh, he did just refinish his NG base. And there we go. There's the plus two armor. Maru started up the plus two attack, but he doesn't have the money for plus two armor just yet. Bion, on the other hand, does. Oh, Bion really doesn't want to take this angle. Maru sieges first. Bion will get the counter kill, so it's one for one. Oh, Bion going to be able to stim in on top of the tanks. There's no medevacs here. Maru going to lose all the tanks, potentially. One of them is still sieged here. Hang on, Bion. Uh, Bion didn't target that tank, and it got so much more damage than I expected. That looked like that was going to be a crushing defeat right there for Maru, but he somehow... Well, I think it was actually just bad target fire from Bion. And now this game is pretty much even. Bion, though, does have the 2-2 upgrades on the way. Maru still hasn't started up his plus-2 armor. 
he just now started mining from these gases at the third. Whereas Byun, he's still on 800 gas here. Scan comes down from Byun, does spot Maru's uh, setup. Oh, these medivacs are so low on HP for Byun. Oh my god, Byun, please, no, don't just lose the medivacs. Huh. Byun, oh god, these marines, they're feeling turbulence, but they are going to get out of the medivacs before the missile turret completes, before the marines unload. And Byun, oh god, that poor marine. Just put it out of its misery. It's experiencing current traumatic stress disorder. I can't believe Beyond didn't just lose all the Marines before they got unloaded. Uh, Beyond does take the command center on location. Maru already has it done. Maru's lack of plus two armor is so sad right now. Oh man, he's he's really clawing back from a tough position. But now he's now he's in a worse one than before. Ooh, these Marines. They gotta be a little careful. Oh, Byun. Byun can tra trap them. Well, not trap them, but he could have jumped them. Maru finally starts the... Uh... Well, actually, Maru's taking this fight with an upgrade advantage, a small one. So it ends up going better than I expected. Meanwhile, this spotter deep on the right side does get taken down by these coincidental Marines. 2-2 two -two will finish up for Byun. Maru starts up his 3-2. But it is going to be a very long period of time where Beyond will have that one upgrade advantage. Beyond does need to start up his own 3-3 as well as should be getting into that plus two vehicle weapons. There's that plus three attack. He's got so much gas even still. Uh, neither player starting up a super late game transition just yet. Beyond does get unloaded into the main base. We'll find a couple of Vikings. And he's going to get a couple of Marines as well. Or, pardon me, a couple of SCVs and a couple of Marines for that matter. Oh, other side of the map. Oh, that's a fourth base dead. And beyond being like, hey, what's happening here? Come on. I didn't even... How did those Marines get over there? I did not see that. Beyond supply blocked. Has to drop a couple of depot top hats. At least one. Still hasn't started up his plus three armor, so that will actually even the upgrades at three to a piece. Beyond does have the upgrade advantage here, but he's down in Marines. And he's going to try and counterattack this. The SCVs, they're not going to be enough to turn this fight. And now Beyond, I mean, he already needed to get a lot done with this push. But now he like, oh, please cancel, please cancel, please cancel. Oh, no cancel. The counterattack from Maru is devastating to Beyond. Byun gonna try and lift up into the main base. That's a double medevac of tanks. One of the tanks does get out, but he's gonna lose the other medevac with a couple of Marines inside. Two siege tanks getting taken out so quickly, and it's all falling apart for Byun here. Maru, in the course of about a minute, minute and a half, turns a game that was even maybe Byun favored, slightly Byun favored, into a massive advantage. Couple medevacs will get found, but these medevacs already did so much damage. And now the siege tanks of Beyond are exposed. They get taken out. The Marines of Beyond are on the run. He turns around and he gets a couple of small pickoffs, but it's not a lot. We do have a fifth command center coming on in for. Maru. Byun. He's lifted his main command center over towards a fourth base location. He will get into the main base with a double drop. And he does find that siege tank from Maru. Oh, hang on. Maru actually doesn't have enough here. Byun will find this uh, transition into the late game. Oh, he's going to try and attack up this position, but the tanks are so well placed. Marines getting absolutely massacred here for Beyond. He is really trying everything, throwing the kitchen sink at his opponent, but it is not working here. He does dislodge Maru from this base location, but it's really not enough on its own. Maru really taking control of this game at this point. 
He's going to re-secure this base. It's now five base to... Well, I mean, it's... How many mining bases is it for? Oh, man. A scan from Maru. He spots the Metabax. Bion will be forced away. Bion desperately trying to find an opening here. And he just hasn't been able to do it. Not, not get enough of an opening, at least. Siege tanks are going to set up on the low ground here for Maru, or for Bion. Bion will take down that one tank, but the Liberators for Maru are going to shove this back. They're going to jam it back, even getting that one tank there. Maru, I mean, he's just shutting everything down for Bion. Oh, Bion paying attention on the left side to his drop. So he loses, loses another tank here. Let's clean up, I think, two of the Liberators. Not bad. Scans coming down from both sides. Air control firmly in control of Maru here. Plus three armor finally coming on down for both players. It is quite a bit faster for Maru as well. He's really just ahead in pretty much every way. Well, maybe not every way, but in the important ways. That air superiority is so crucial. Meanwhile, this little four... S or uh, four marine hit squad on the right side is gonna find something. Oh my god, Bion almost running into a bunch of marines. Oh, Maru. Okay, Maru does back away. If he could have clicked down those medevacs, that would have been massive. 12 SCVs going down to that. It's now a 40 worker advantage. Bion, he is gonna hope for one big fight to turn this game back around. God, what a banger of a game number five. Bion does find a good siege position, but he can't hold it long. The Liberators just now finishing up their advanced ballistics. Uh, unfortunately for Maru, they sieged just before that. Oh, Marines do get dealt with here. Look at this, the natural expansion has lifted off and gone to the fourth base location. I guess it's now the fifth base location, really. Oh, this is not the position for Bion. He cannot fight here. The tanks absolutely massacring Bion's Marines. There is a very nice siege position from Maru. The Liberator is going to slowly crack this position for Bion. All Maru needs to do is repair up this command center. And even then, actually, well, he just needs to not, not let it burn down, basically. Bion is getting pinched off more and more as time progresses. Maru building now five Liberators at a time. Bion is desperate to try and make something happen, but there's just nothing to be done here. And at this point, I mean, the writing is fully on the wall. Oh, that missile turret. Well, there's more missile turrets in the main base. That's going to be a dead medevac with a tank inside. Another one. Target fire from Maru on the wounded medevac right there. Bion, he only gets one siege tank out. And it is going to get cleaned up almost instantly here. Bion trying desperately to make, well, create an opening for himself. But Maru has pinched him off. The Liberators have closed in on all these Marines. They will get massacred. Bion desperately trying to move forward on the third base once again of Maru. I mean, there's just, there's nothing he can find. Not enough damage. He's losing too much. Maru is locked down at this point. And Bion, he's going to kill this command center on the, the 9 o'clock location. But it's a consolation victory. GG gets called, and the inaugural KSL goes in the favor of Maru. Brilliant stuff here from Maru. Very well played.